My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Hearthstone's Tavern Brawl. Fuck yes, we've got decks assemble, all of Azeroth wants to battle for you. Start with a small deck, recruit as you go and then send them out to fight over and over. So apparently the way this works technically behind the scenes is every single time uh, you start a turn, you discover a card, then you have five cards in hand, anything you play gets shuffled back into your deck, or a copy of it gets shuffled back into your deck, and then when you end your turn, you throw out your entire hand and you get four cards. So they're all shuffled back in and you get four cards from the top and then it starts over again. So it's basically a deck building game and I've played uh, a shitload of deck building games in my life. Just an absurd amount of deck building games. So what we're going to do is first off, I'm going to play Priest because I've got two Priest victory quests at the moment. But we're just going to try and think about this as though we were playing a deck building game like dominion or whatever whatever your flavor of deck building game is i quite like dominion and a lot of the cryptozoic games it's my thing build your team as you play good luck so this is going to be our shitty early starting hand we kind of want to i don't know if we'll have trash mechanics because i really like to run thin decks Right? So I like to get all of the shitty cards out of my deck as soon as possible. But pick a new card. Okay, cool. Ooh, flood the board? That might be a strategy that works with the chickens. Or bomb lobber's removal. I'll take the bomb lobber, actually. When you play a card, shuffle a copy into your deck. I like that they've actually got rules for this because it is going to be a little difficult to understand for some people especially if they're not familiar mm -hmm. cool tarnished coin gain one mana crystal this turn only good 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 so it turns out i do get coins and there's actually a shitload of co wait hang on so if it shuffles every single time, it's not like I have a discard pile and a deck that I'm drawing from. It's just shuffling. So I can play something and then next turn get the same thing back. That doesn't... I don't like the idea of that. Oh. That's more powerful by base, but that... I want that in my deck. Fuck. That actually is the most powerful here right now. Because I need to secure an early lead on the board. I'll take it. There's no reason not to play out an entire hand, as far as I'm concerned. If I'm going to be shuffling everything back into my deck anyway. Excuse me, I want to take armor plating. I can't do that. Excuse me, I want to take armor plating. Thank you. Why was that so difficult to do? Now return your hand to your deck. I'm assuming they shuffle it as well and then redraw. Which is... I don't know how many armor platings I've got in there because I can't keep track of what's actually in the deck if every single time we're going to lose and then regain the same. No machine vent of a card draw, but that's just going to get shuffled back into your deck. Uh, Probably buff it? Yeah. Oh, there's whirling blades in there as well. Interesting. Oh, right, there was a Whirling Blades in my opening hand. That makes sense. Um, definitely want to take that. Okay, Whirling Blades powers it up enough to kill the other. I'm going to have the dopest chicken. Also, what I guess I've already found out is that you were only getting cards from your own class, but that makes sense if it's based on the discover mechanic. I am the dancing master. The dancing queen. Young and pristine only. Two, two for two for three. Two, two for three. That would have even been better in terms of... Ah, oh, Would have even been better in terms of rhyme. Ooh, shadow form. Yeah, I don't mind if I do, actually. Because then I don't even have to use my cards. <laughs> oh, man. Hmm. 
We've already got strong control on board. Opponent's gonna need some sick buffs. Actually, they only need three damage. That's not difficult for this guy to get. Oh, that's a fire elemental. Thought steel is actually going to be super interesting. There's, again, no reason not to just play those bad cards. Oh, see? It's even going to work out for me because the bomb lobber is going to do extra damage to the fire elemental. <laughs> Shadow form so that my hero power becomes deal three damage. Don't mind if I do. This format's going to be a lot slower, so it's going to be worth my while. I don't know why you would take Gnomish Inventor, though. You're not going to run out of cards. That's not the way this works. And Vargas is overall going to be better. I'm in an unfortunate position here. In that Bomb Lobber could not be cast on the same turn as using the ping. So if the Bomb Lobber hit the 1-1, I was in a horrid position. So I had to ignore that play, basically. I am the dancing master. Okay, so that's just your free totem, dude. Okay, so I need to start looking for board clear. Possibly even in their deck. In the light's name. Hmm. We're having some difficulties here. Also, I haven't seen much variety in their deck, which tells me it's entirely possible that they've just got big cards waiting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I pretty much gave them the board. It's my bad. Excavated Evil. That's gonna, like, guarantee constant board clears everywhere. Because it goes into their deck, but it'll go back into mine as well. Ah, uh, regardless, I'm dead. Okay. It's going to take a few games to really grab the mechanics of this. And exactly what speed the games are going to work at. Exactly uh, how quickly you're going to want to develop into better cards. Whether you're going to want to try and pick a perfect curve. Or whether you're going to want to try and pick better for late game. Like that person obviously picked, oh look, Fire Elemental. I'll probably keep that for the later game. Because they didn't have a stellar early game. But they did just get to the point that they were playing fly Fire Elemental, Fire Elemental, Fire Elemental. And Fire Elemental is like one of the best six drops. I can't say it's the best six drop because the Savannah High Main still exists. Just some dude, Shaman. Is Shaman just the best? Is that what's happening here? Death Lord at the moment won't summon anything good. Eh, fine. Oh, wait. I just picked a Death Lord to infinitely be in my deck. Uh, that was a dumb idea. That was a dumb idea. Well, I guess I have to constantly heal it and just hope that my opponent can't kill it. If they can... They're probably going to be killing it with a Hex. Because that's like their big removal as a Shaman. So that would be good for me. Kind of silences it. I might have to dig for a silence so I can start silencing my own Death Lords though. This, this was a bad play. Definitely a bad play on my part. Not going to kill that. Should get a minion worth playing. Yep, all of those got put back in my deck. Cool, cool.
Of course, with my opponent having chickens in their deck, it's not always going to be good. I wonder if you would want to play Hunter just because the chickens are beasts. That'd be interesting. Two coins to play a totem. Oh, okay. They were just using the coins, I guess. Uh, Cabal Shadow Priest will be really fucking good at some point. Not yet, but at some point. Nice. Got the Light Spawn coming out next turn. So the things like Inner Fire, things like uh, Velen's Chosen... Apparently, they just felt entirely shut out of the game. You know what? They probably just had a lot of really, really shitty choices. I don't envy them that. So, I just chose, like, a really big minion in the early game and put it down. And then curved into it again because it was an early game minion. So, I got to put it down again and then just keep buffing them. That's going to be the strength of the priest. Put something down on the board and then keep it from ever leaving the board. Hello, Rogue. Greetings. Oh, man, I'm going to have a 1 3 chicken out on board. It's going to be excellent. It's going to be biblical. Coin out another chicken. Double coin out your blades. Yep, double coin out your blades. No reason not to. Crowd favorite. Let's see if I can build myself a battle cry deck. <laughs> let's, let's make the buffest chicken of all time. Oh god. Oh god. All you need as a rogue is to draw one deadly poison and then your deck is amazing. Because it's this thin, just deadly poison every turn, and then whack him in the face for 15 damage. <laughs> oh, lord. That's not good. Questing Adventurer. I need the Cabal Shadow Priest, unfortunately, but Questing Adventurer is interesting. And then I'll put another chicken out, because it looks more likely for them to go attack, 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 and kill it anyway. So I want to still have something established on the board afterwards. Huh? Okay, suddenly they're offensive. Well, halfway offensive. This does not make sense. Really? That's... Really? Alright, sure. Fucking take the Tauren Chieftain. I don't Ah, so many viewers. It's going to become better in later game when I have more battle cries. Okay. Are you not going to kill the 4 4? No, you've got an Abyss. That's an Abyss. Yep. This is real powerful. I guess I want Holy Nova. Wow. Constant taunt. Give a minion taunt, 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 taunt. 
Give it an attack. Give it a health. Heal myself. Oh man, that was a good turn. Well, at least I can coin Cabal next turn. As long as they don't trade their 2 1 into my 2 2. So many options. Cabal is going to be excellent. Daggers again. Fine. Tarnished coin to conceal. Yeah. Well, this is annoying. Shadow Madness is going to be good, but it's time to rock. Oh, both. Excellent. Try and keep myself alive if I can. So I've got a this and. Oh, God. Well, that f fucked up royally. Giving them a four mana Khan blood hoof. Speak to me. They just need to attack the face. Is no place for mortals. Uh, they only need a cold blood. Heal it back up! Keep it alive! Um, summoning stone. I'll take it. Who's next? Well, we're fucked. <laughs> oh, good lord, this could not really have gone worse, could it? Get yourself a cold blood, win the game. What does the hold? Well, at least it wasn't the best card you could have gotten. This the face for six damage. Oh, well, of course that's good. Genius Zephyrs, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Rip me. <laughs> uh, good thing I have both Ram Shield to protect me. Elite Tauron Chieftain I can play next turn and play whatever they give me. Up, oh, rip. Really? I'm not dead yet, apparently. Hmm. Ah, oh, Welling Blades. Oh. Hang on. Is there anything cool I can do? Not really. <sighs> I am freed from the curse. I'm 
Okay, so now I'm only definitely dead. <laughs> Rogues with conceal. Well, you can't get board clear. They're kind of mean. Alright, let's continue. I'm liking this a lot. I... I've definitely not got a grip of it so far. Because each of the deck building games that I've played, I had to reevaluate all of the strengths and weaknesses of all of my different options. And then eventually I got like a tier list in mind and then I worked from there. Whereas here, I'm just like, fucking no. Alright, here we go. Let's win the game. Let's win the game literally immediately. Come on, come on. Don't you fucking dare take this from me. I want it. No shadow or pain or anything like that. No smite, nothing. It's the biggest. Put some mad bomber in my deck. All right, fine. Accept the quest. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. You built another chicken. Probably a buff. Yeah, looking like a defense buff. Mm-hmm. Okay. You have been. <laughs> well played. <laughs> oh man, I wanted to questing adventurer again. So I definitely should have taken questing adventurer last time I was offered it. But it's way, way better in the early game because you get to run through all of your cheap cards again. <laughs> oh man, lovely. Okay. They lost the druid, and you stand up to the might of my super mighty chickens. Oh, he's probably going for a druid beast deck, right? Based off the fact that these chickens are beasts. Playing the two. That's kind of scary. Oh, shitty. Ah, uh, shitty, shitty. Shit. Having a having such a valuable creature in my deck, even if I can't play it for a while, I think is going to be valuable for us. Okay, next turn I can play all of my hand, which is nice. Excavated Evil could have... Could have easily become the only card that was played in the entire game if I took it that early. Because I put a copy in their deck and back in my deck, and then when they play it, they put a copy back in their deck and my deck, and we end up with just more excavated evils again and again and again. <clears throat> if I focused on hero powering every turn, that would be awesome. I'll take one. Just because the other cards weren't amazing either. Okay. Well, see? This is the same type of hand I'm looking at. Like, I'm forced to hero power this turn no matter what. So that hits that. Then both of those probably go face. Which means that I hit something with this and then heal it. Buff. 
Now I'm grumpy. Oh, God. Oh, it's a creepers. Oh, I don't know if we'll survive this. Too good of an early game. Grim Patron? Might be a really good idea. <sighs> but yeah, Grim Patron up against this. Just get more Grim Patrons and more Grim Patrons. What? Probably not going to work. They'll almost certainly have something that can kill the Grim Patron out by that point, but... Then there's more Grim Patrons in my deck. Everybody's going to get in here one way or the other. One way or another. Don't buff up the same target. Uh, with health, that's fine. Oh dear. I need Holy Nova. Hello, Holy Nova. Not quite what was planned. <laughs> now, if they just don't develop a big minion this turn, Grim Patron win the game. Shit. They just needed not to have a minion that could fight the Grim Patron. Oh, well. Dark Cultus is just a nice card to have. Okay, Pilot of Sky Golem, Tarnish Coin, Tarnish Coin, Heal. Oh, that's bad. It's over-costed removal though for them. Because you're not really going to be doing much with the cards you draw. Mind Plast? No. No, Juggler. It's so hot. Dang it! 40% chance to have removed a minion. Okay, Grim, uh, the Holy Nova's fine. Especially if they go for the obvious trade here. They have to know I have Holy Nova in my deck, though. Gosh. That's a rough life to be leading, son. Well, Jin will do. Give him plus one attack. Attack in. And give you plus one health. Piloted Sky Golem heal looks like a good turn. Looks like they're trying to pick up late game, but they don't have much yet. I'm unfortunately relying on... Because they do flood the board like every turn. I'm unfortunately relying on that one Holy Nova I have in my deck to just come up again and again and again. Uh, that's never going to be useful. That's not always useful. But it's more useful. Okay. This is going to be a shitty turn, but... Uh, it might be saved by whatever we salvage. Sorry, it might be salvaged by whatever we discover. From the curse. 
Okay. Oh! <laughs> they're, they're waiting for Savage Raw. <laughs> How did I not realize that? They've been waiting this entire time for one Savage Raw to win the game. Mm hmm. Why would you buff that? You want me to kill it. Surely. So here's my goal. Prevent them from getting Savage Raw. Then clean their board every single turn with the Grim Patron. They might have to... They might be forced into a position where they have to take removal right now to kill the Grim Patron. Yeah. That was already in their hand, though. Ben Creeper. Yeesh. I need heals. Flash heal? It's not going to do it. Another Grim Patron. Ew. I'd like to get Flash Healed. The Light of the Naru would be lovely. My fucking Holy Nova that I haven't seen in a thousand years. Do they have two Starfires going through their deck, or do they just have the same Starfire? It, this is important information that I do need to know. Ooh, Hero Power as well. I'm not digging myself out of this hole, because they just flood the fucking board every turn. They're waiting for one Savage Raw, and then they'll win the game. And, that, like, I, I get to see the strategy, I just don't get to do anything about it. Ooh, that's good. Damn it. I'm gonna have to start taking dragons. Just so that Chillmore constantly clears the field for me. <laughs> oh. How do they know that I don't have a dragon in hand? Hmm? Oh shit, they're about to find out. Dang it. They can't have Savage Raw yet. <laughs> They've got a Murloc deck going on, though. Okay. What? You don't have one mana lethal. Don't fucking try and fling it around the screen and make me concede. Right? Not gonna happen. Nope, hand won't be enough for us, unfortunately. Uh, all they need is Starfire at any point. If they do have the two Starfires in their deck, then they've won. Mm-hmm. 
No need for that. All right. Druid or rogue dominance? Hmm. Let's go back into the tavern brawl because I'm still having fun. Priest again. I'll figure out how to do this. Don't worry. I feel like that game would have been better if my goddamn Holy Nova showed up sometimes, which is why deck building games are better when there is a discard pile. Because if you shuffle immediately back into your deck, you might buy a card and then never see it because it gets shuffled back to the bottom of your deck again and again and again. We saw the Holy Nova when we picked it up and the other time when we drew it and then never again. Kind of annoying. Uh, Evil Heckler is a really good card, plus I need to focus on my early game. Okay, cool. The hell is that card back? I don't know if I've seen that before. Was that this month? I haven't watched. I haven't been looking. Hmm. Buff its health, don't buff its attack. Having a Kodo Rider succeed at any point would be good, but still a bit risky. Oh god! I just realized! True Super Champions forever! Every single time! Just play another True Super Champion! And then buff that with health. Mm hmm. Haunted Creeper turned out to be really good for my opponent last time, so that's almost certainly where I want to go. Mad Bomber, I guess, is my board clear? Maybe? If you stretch it? Or maybe Mad Bomber is my- sorry, Madder Bomber is my fireball. It'll just do six damage to whatever target I want it to hit. Okay, at this rate I can start overwhelming them unless they start playing removal. Donkey Chi, what have you got? Consecration's always going to be a good thing for you. Get two consecrations in your deck and I'll never be able to develop a board. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. Oh, no. Oh no, it's so difficult to- oh. Yes please. So difficult to play around that secret. Oh, well, it's Avenge. Oh, it's not Avenge, really. So it's not Avenge, it's not Repentance, it's not Penitence, it's not... Oh, it's it's a Competitive Spirit. Has to be. It's also not Sacred Trial, obviously. It's Competitive Spirit. Let the pain speak to me. I'll show them. I'll show them. <laughs> Pull another Competitive Spirit out of your deck? Sure, feel free to. I really don't care how many competitive spirits you have. In fact, actually, you can't... Yeah, 
Well played. You can't get another competitive spirit out. You already have one in the board. Priest victory. All right. I uh, finished all of my priest stuff. So I have Druid and Rogue. I'll try Rogue. Because Rogue looked interesting. Right? Combo cards, you'll never run out of the ability to hit with a... Calm down, doggy. It's okay. You'll never run out of the ability to hit with combo cards because you'll always have low-cost cards. That's what I wanted to say. Ugh. Hair way too long. Well, it was way too short considering I wanted to grow it way longer, but then it got cut and now it's... It's, it's in the murky middle ground where it's too long to be short, but it's too short to be long. It's in that medium-ish area. It's just not... It's my entire response to it. Opponent's always, almost always going to have crap development on the field. So, I'm not really going to get much out of sabotage, I don't feel. Oh, but it would have combo effect destroy your opponent's weapon. Oh, that could be important actually against a, uh, against a warrior. Mm-hmm. Oh, piloted shredder. Here we go. Oh shit, I should have just played it that turn. That's my bad. Yeah, I, I should have played the piloted shredder. There was no reason, no good reason to not just double coin piloted shredder attack attack. Serious misplay. I guess I was thinking, oh, I've got the, I've, I've got it for next turn, that kind of stuff. But that's not how it works here. Ready to fling. Ready to fling. Pile of Shredder. I'm going to take like a Pyroblast to that Axe Flinger right there. I'm going to need to start developing big minions that can actually kill Axe Flingers. I wanted to sacrifice all of the minions there so that this would only have this to hit in against. Oh, that was bad. That was dumb. I could have already won this game if I just put the goddamn Violet Shredder out earlier. Another, another Axe Flinger. That doesn't help. I've got... Oh, yes, it does. Here we go. I can't get the Sky Golem out this turn, unfortunately. Was there a better way to do that? I don't think so. 
So my opponent's plan is to Axe Sling until I die. I'm going to need to draft the first heal, I see. That's pretty obvious. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. That's, um... That's not good. Oh! There's, there's the heal I wanted. Back from the junk heap. exactly what I wanted. Oh, this is not what I want. This is a trashy hand. Just pick the highest cost card that I get and try and play it. Constant armoring up. I don't know if that's going to work. Maybe it's all they could have done. Ooh, Chromagus. Chromagus isn't going to help, though. Chromagus is big minion, though. Chromagus is uh, definitely a big minion. Shadow Step at backplate again. No, I should probably just play Chromagus. Here we go. Is this so... No, it doesn't duplicate all of the cards I draw. Okay. I was like, did I just break the game? Am I going to have just a hand that constantly expands in size? Well played. Thanks. It's very unlucky, by the way, that they actually ended up getting the Twilight Drake, the only four drop that I could have killed. Well, let's see how this hand goes. Sap or Assassinate being put in my deck would be nice. Especially if I got more than one. Eviscerate would be excellent. Another heal also would be excellent. The fact that I've had it show up twice so far as insane. What now? Someone apparently has a tough decision to make. Oh, draft a dragon and then run this in here. Oh, did you do it? No. Ready to fling. Ready to fling. Okay. The Pilot of Shredder, another Undercity Valiant. Okay. Okay. Oh, you know what? I should have given this at least one, just in case of Whirlwind. Sorry that happened. What is this? Sorry that happened. Am I dead? I'm counting damage.
You could be on 10 mana, I guess. I can't tell. Move it. Do I just have to snooze? It's okay. Real interested in watching the back of uh, back of your cards here, buddy. So either they were trying to troll when they said sorry that happened because they don't actually have anything worth playing. Yeah, looks like that's what it was. Well, at least they didn't interrupt the rope so that they could just make me sit there for a while. Well but... Greetings. I'm not such a nice guy. Yeah, whatever. And... Kill you with the bot that actually kept me alive. Seems like a good idea to me. Myself another 10. Very nice. Well, if I'm going to be doing any more of this, it's going to take me over an hour. So, I actually got an Ask FM question about this this morning, saying, because it's such a strategic mode, and it is, uh, if I do more than one video on it. And you know what? I will. Uh, so, I mean, I'll, I'll definitely do it because there's no... There's no challenges this week. There's no adventure this week. So I can do some other daily Hearthstone content. So I'm going to do some more videos on Dex Assemble. And that's going to be out tomorrow at this same time slot. So my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been... I've got to open this pack. So I've... Whoops. I don't even think I had Malagos, actually. So that's, uh... Hang on, do I have... How much crafting? Yeah, no! That's my first Malagos. Well... Oh, Savagery can get disenchanted as well. That turned out mighty well, if you ask me. My name is Ben Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Hearthstone. That has been Tavern Brawl. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself, and we will see you tomorrow.